Hi, everybody. I'm excited today to be able to tell you a little bit about my very unusual father. It's true what Miss Ella said. Leonard Bernstein grew up in a family that had no particular interest in music. But when little Lenny was just 10 years old, something surprising happened. A bunch of furniture arrived from his Aunt Clara's house because she was moving away. The movers brought in an upright piano right into the front hall of the house. As my father used to tell the story, his little 10-year-old self walked over to that piano. He put his hands on the smooth black and white keys, and it was like fireworks exploded inside his head. He knew at that moment that he wanted his whole life to be about music. And my father found so many ways to be a musician. He became an excellent pianist. He also became a world famous conductor of orchestras. Plus, he wrote his own music, all kinds of music for orchestras and ballet dancers, for Broadway shows, operas, and the movies. There was just one musical thing my dad was not good at. He was a terrible singer. He was sad about it, too. He used to say he wished he could trade in all his talents just to be a wonderful singer. But maybe he was kidding about that. He gave the world so much musical joy. When people see pictures of Leonard Bernstein, it's usually when he's conducting an orchestra, dressed up all fancy and standing on that podium box in front of the musicians. If you saw those pictures, you might think Leonard Bernstein would be a kind of stiff, formal person. You might also think he was really tall. But nope, my dad was kind of short and not even a little bit formal. I wish you could have seen him eating corn on the cob, his favorite. He loved any food he could eat with his hands. He also loved word games and dogs and motorboats. He was always hugging my brother, sister, and me, playing games with us, telling us jokes and stories, and always teaching us lots of cool stuff. In fact, he was always, always teaching. He even created special concerts for kids with his orchestra, the New York Philharmonic. And you know what he did? He put those concerts on TV. That gave millions of kids all over our country and the world the chance to listen to beautiful music and hear Leonard Bernstein tell them all about it in his special, easygoing way. Okay, now what do you think that music's all about? Can you tell me? That's just what I thought you'd say. Cowboys, bandits, horses, the Wild West. I know my little daughter, Jamie, who's five years old and is sitting up there, agrees with you. When she heard me play this piece, she said, Ooh, the Lone Ranger saw. I own silver. Well, I hate to disappoint you, and you too, but it really isn't about the Lone Ranger at all. It's about notes, E flats and F sharps. You see, no matter how many times people tell you stories about what music means, forget them. Stories aren't what music means about, at all. Music is never about anything. Music just is. My father used to say that what he loved the very most was people, all kinds of people, of every age and race and background. And his lifelong wish was for no more fighting in the world. So many of Leonard Bernstein's own compositions are a kind of musical dreaming about a world where we all take care of each other and are kind to each other. In that Broadway show Miss Ella mentioned earlier, West Side Story, my father's music helps tell the story about two people in love who are trying to rise above the hatred in their communities. You heard Miss Ella say that my brother, sister, and I call West Side Story our fourth sibling. That's because none of us can remember a time in our lives without it. 
I'm the eldest of us three, and I was only five years old when West Side Story opened on Broadway. I was 10 when the movie came out, and it was the movie that really made West Side Story so popular that everybody knew what it was. Everybody could sing little snippets of the songs, I feel pretty, oh so pretty, or imitate the dance moves. West Side Story had such a strong personality and it was always around us, so it really was like another member of our family. Sometimes my father's music in West Side Story is sad, sometimes it's scary, and sometimes it's just plain irresistibly fun. Thank you.